ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sank84 and welcome to Academia School Simulator, a game about building a school, managing it and watching them kids pass through and nothing go wrong, except for when it does go wrong. And I've got to say, I've been playing this game one-handed for a very long time without even realising it. So I thought, what better game to show off and play quickly today while my hand is still healing. So you know what, we're going to get in, we're going to make a brand new school and we're going to have a look what we can do today with it. Okay, so first things first, we need to set our school up. So, obviously, we need to give it a name first. So, let's pick a name. So, welcome to San the Sankey Institute of Learning or SIL. Whichever way you want to name it. So, we've got our name nice and easy. We now need a motto. And, well, this can sometimes get a little bit... Tricky. I mean, we can always go with uh, the traditional. We can always go with something Latin and, you know, profound. Something with great meaning. So with that in mind, I thought we'd go with give it your best. There we go. That's what we our motto is. Give it your best. There we go. Right. And finally, yeah, we need to set up our badge. And no, we're not going to be doing anything like that. So... So, let's have a look. Purple and blue, of course, just like the channel colours, so that's fine. And now we've got four icons we need. So we need to find four icons that are going to inspire and make the, the kids proud to be at the school. So, there we go. Some Coke, a burger, some chips and a pizza. Why would your kids not want to come with, to this school with a badge like that? They're going to get fed. Okay, now the more game-changing ones. What sort of difficulty are we going to do? And you know what, today I'm not in the mood for stress or much. So we're just going to keep it on normal difficulty. I mean, we can, you know, go hard, hardcore, easy. Or, if you want to, you can, you know, change things individually and make it customised. So, of course, we're going to do co-ed. It puts a little bit of problems, because obviously you have to make sure you've got male and female facilities in there. But, you know what? We'll get round that. And for today, you know what? Let's just whack it up to 60. Fine. We'll keep them at regular, and yeah, all these can stay as normal. I'm just whacking the money up for today. And yep, yeah, we'll keep everything on. That's fine. Right, let's select a flag, of course. Well, there's only really... Well, unless there's something that's going to surprise me. I mean, there's a heck of a lot of flags to go through, so you can kind of have almost everything. Anywhere you want, but I think Let's see if I can find one a bit close to home It looks like the only one we're gonna get to do is England because well for some reason Yeah, they've kind of missed out a lot really now. I know they can't have every single county, but still I mean they've got Durham for crying out loud Where's Cheshire? Come on, Cheshire should be on here, but no, it's not. We just go up. Um, Chad. Yeah, Chicago. Come on, there's Chicago on there. Right. Okay, it's got the Christmas Islands. That's nice. Uh, but no, no Cheshire at all. So I am gutted at that. And even look to see if they, they'd have the old Roman name for it on here as well, but they don't. It's not there. So... Never mind, we'll just stick with the English flag. Fine. And as far as I'm aware, you can't create your own. What is a bit of a shame, but never mind. But now the good stuff. We get to pick a uniform. So, do they have a uniform or not? So, we could go the traditional British one. 
What we might do, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Have them dressed as prisoners. Could be a military school. That'd be nice. Malaysia, China, Philippines, Russia. Casual. That's, that's a not nice one, but... Now, let's stick him in the old UK one. And, of course, a pet we're going to have. Let's say... Ooh. Let's go with dog two. And let's have a look at the principles now. Entire career, but you've got no advantage or disadvantage. No, yeah, you're just without. So, yeah, your principal can give you bonuses and problems. So... Expensive counsellors and expensive teachers. But cheaper monitors and effective detention. Okay, Scrooge. Okay. Water and electric costs are down, but research is up. Dr. Hauser. Cheaper janitors and nurses. Organic food. Food crate cost per box is doubled. Ooh, okay. Um... All objects are 30% cheap on the black market. Enemy goons, 10% chance for goons to visit. And minus 20% prestige penalty from school evaluations. Mm. So, okay. Ideal class size plus 50%. Oh, no. And delinquency problem up. Or we could just customise one. You know what? Let's have a look at a customisable one. There we go, our own little custom one there, Rose DeLearn. Again, just like that, she doesn't have an official last name yet. I haven't thought of one that it would be. If you want to think of a surname for her, let me know down below. We There's plenty of games that have coming out lately that are asking for surnames. So we can always give Rose a surname. If not, we'll just find a nice, fun pun to put there, depending on the game. But for now, Rose, there we go. So... Cheaper water and electric, nice. Ah, we get 20, uh, we lose 20 prestige from dropouts. That's going to hurt us, but we're not too fussed about that. But you know what? That's about all the setup we've got. Let's get in and have a look, shall we? Okay, so this game is split into different phases. We've got the build phase. We've got the... School phase, and then we've got other bits that we'll get into when we get to it. So, basically, there we get yeah, build phase, start of every school year, you're given time to plan and build your school while students are not in class. The build phase has no time limit. Your cash flow will not be deducted, but building and buying objects will still cost money. When you're ready to begin, click on the start school year. Thank you very much. Okay. So, yeah, here we go. There's the road. And so far, our school has a garbage patch and a delivery slot. So, that's it. And, yeah, we've got quite a big area to build in. But, of course, we're not going to be wanting to build all that. First thing we want to do is, let's get down here. Because we've got our builders. That's nice. Let's start off by, you know what, let's... Change some of these zones. Edit you. I want to expand you. Yeah, 12 by 5 should do. Nice. And let's just... Uh, I'll cover all that in a minute. And uh, we'll remove you. I don't want the garbage there. We'll find a nice garbage place in a minute. And, of course, we're going to have to put a wall around it. You know. It being what it is. So, we'll... Build a nice, lovely wall there. And of course, with a wall, we're going to need doors. So, you can... Wait a minute. Which way is that? Yeah. You go there. And you can go there. Right. That'll be fine for now. And... Floors, floors. Of course, we're going to need... Okay, just in here. This can just be basic concrete for now. Now, the school. Obviously, the school's going to drop the kids off at some point. So, okay. Let's see what sort of path we can put outside. I think we'll go with... You know what? A nice brick floor. And for now... 
Let's say 10. What do you reckon? 10? Yeah, 10 should be enough for now. Let's see. And of course, yeah, main entrance. We're going to need 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, perfect. So there we go. There's the main entrance. That's where they're all going to come in from. And... Okay. Next thing we're going to need to do is... Where's my walls gone? I want brick walls to go there. And there. So this is going to be the main entrance area. So all the kids are going to come in here and then have to go off to wherever they need to be. So, okay. I want a 10 by 10, hopefully. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's going to be 10 by 10. The student's going to come in and then go off wherever it is. Now, the living is going to be there. So, I think what we're going to have to do is... Oh, because, yeah, I've got... Okay, objects. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to dismantle... There we go. Make sure you're on the right one. Otherwise, you won't get rid of it all. There we go. So, we'll get rid of them. And walls. Again. I want you. Okay, I'll put you in in a minute once that's been de demolished. So, that can be the cafeteria on that side, I think. And the kitchen. So, you know what? If I put you there... That can be a nice walkway now. So the delivery gets put there. You come and get it. Walk up and into, yeah, there for the kitchen. Kitchen can be back here yeah, somewhere. We'll sort that out in a minute. And doors. Of course, we want a double door going into, yeah, into here. Right, and rooms, rooms, let me see. Okay, we need to unlock it. I forgot it was unlocked. Right, okay, that's fine. We'll do that in a minute. And apparently, yeah, we haven't got the bus stopping. So, you know what? Let's put a bench there and there. And I'll probably put, yeah, a building down here or something. That's fine. And let's have a look. What else can we put in? Let's see what we can put. Oh, okay. Not letting me put the windows in. Strange. All right. I'll figure that out later. Put you back on there. That's fine. So we've got that. Right. Next, we're going to need... Actually, yeah. That's going to be down here. The offices. We can put some offices down here. So, zones, we want admin, and of course we want an office there, so 5v6 there, it's fine, and where are we, office, 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 come up, uh, there we go, office, right, admin, that's fine, so you can go, let's put you there, a very old school fax machine can go there and we'll put you there. Fine. Oh, because it's not classed as indoors yet. That's fine. It will be when it gets built. Just wait. Right. And there we go. So that's going to be you. And nice door in there there we go so that's going to be one of the offices for our head teacher that can be the head's office for now right next let's get in a few classrooms because we're going to need classrooms for the kids yeah we'll put like the offices down here i think like the staff room and everything canteen can go over there we might have to expand that at some point we'll see in fact i can probably guarantee it and then, yeah, the classrooms can go up this way. So, for now, let's just go you along here. There we go. And again, we might 
just have to expand all this and edit it later on. But for now, okay. Doors again. I want a double door there and a double door there. And technically, I could put another one in the middle, but now nah, I think that's just over. Is it overdoing it? Three. I mean, technically, I could then filter it. Nah, we're fine for now. We're fine for now. Right. So, not carpet. I want flooring. Right, let's have a look. So, let's go with a nice wooden floor in here. So, the hallway can be nice and wooden. And objects, yes, I know we need. Cool. First things first. Oh. Why can I not put... Okay, I can't put the clock in. It's not letting me yet. Maybe I've got to wait until it's built. Um... Oh, flagpole. There we go. Yeah, because apparently every school should have a flag. Right. Um... You know what? Let's do that like that there. And lockers for the kids. So... Let's say that can be the door there, and this wall can have a bunch of lockers on it. And you can have a bunch of lockers there. And of course, the pet ball can go in, yeah, in there. That can go in the head teacher's room. Okay, what else? Ooh. And do we want... No, no, let's not do that yet. They can go... Actually, you know what? No, forget that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me something that's a single... There we go, get rid of all this a minute. Change me mind. Right, where are them vending machines? So yes, uh, just vending machines. I just saw vending machines. There they are, right. So, leave three, and then one, two, three, four, five vending machines there so they can spend money. Then, water fountain. You know what, a water fountain can go there, four of them, and we'll put a rubbish bin in each corner, that should help keep it nice and clean, and of course, yeah, the trophies can go there, any we get, if we get any, yeah, for some reason I can't like put windows or anything in, what's a bit weird, but never mind. Right. Now, before we put the classrooms in, we need to know what kids we are getting. So, okay, so, you know what? We're going to have, what, 15, 30, no, 60 kids coming in total. That's fine because we might as well. So, we're going to need four different classrooms that can have 15 kids in it. That's fine. That's fine. So, okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's go classroom. So classroom one can be right here. And you know what? Let's do 10 by 10 for each of them. Oh, okay. We might not be able to do... Okay. That's going to be a wall. One, two, three, wall there. So, 10 by 10 there, classroom 2. Classroom 3 can go here. And 4 can go there for now. So, there we go. It should be nice and easy to find your classroom. You'll come in, you'll turn right, and then depending what year you're in, you move down slowly. Right. Let's wall them up quickly before we forget. So, 
Do. 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 Lovely. No. Why have you got a double door? Go away. Um, yep, there's a nice gap here because, well, we're going to put some toilets in here. So, zones again. Where is the toilets? There we go. I can't do it until I've unlocked it. Right. Fine. Okay, let's get the um, garbage room in. Alright, what did we say you were? 12. Okay, so... 12 be 5, that's fine. That's got everything in it needs. And of course you don't want it just lying around. So again, I can't remember what wall we put there, but you know what? Let's just make sure everything is bricked off. And you're going to go there because, yeah, I'm going to put the canteen in. Not the canteen, the kitchen in there. And then you can come off because I don't know how big I'm going to make you yet. So we'll put the kitchen in first. And yeah, we'll see how much space we need. We take up. Right, that's all used in. Now the thing we need to do is get the floor in. But I'm not sure yet yeah, what's going to be going on over here. Or Well, I know what's coming in. I'm going to put the toilets in there. Change all this later on. But for now, that can just go like that. And just to make sure no one gets trapped inside, let's just leave you open. Yeah. And of course, I forgot to do this door. Okay. I'll get there in a minute. Yeah. Double doors into the offices. That's nice for them. And right, let's hire the principal. So you can go there. So there we go. We've now got ourselves a principal. All them in. Let's just get time ticking away and. Yeah, start things getting built. So, let's just hurry up and quickly skip through this until everything is built. Okay. Now the principal's office has been officially built. She'll get to work in there. We've now got a bit of money. So, let's just quickly give her some floors. I think she can have... Oh, can she have... No, she can't have any carpet. So, you know what? You can have some marble flooring. There we go. That look nice for you. And it also means you can start doing research. So, okay. Let's get some basic uh, facilities in. I don't know who's researching them, but hopefully somebody is. And maybe it's the principal. I don't know. But yeah, they can do that. And yeah, everything is now built that I said, but I've kind of run out of money, so I can't really do much at the moment. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is tell them to come up here and start selling these trees. Because, yeah, apparently cutting trees down is a great way of making money. Not much, but some money. So, I just say... Yeah, yeah, not bad about that at the minute. Let's just get you... To there. You just start to sell them off. That should be now. Yeah. Everything being told to be sold will bring me in some money. But I do have other ways of making money. So my to-do list. Admin. Here we go. So I get a thousand for completing it. And oh, I've already done it. Fine. So that's fine. That gives me some money there. I've already done. Paved floors. Basic education. There we go. Build the four classrooms. If you accept it, I get 10,000. Another 10,000. Okay. Fine. Let's get that one out of the way then. So, chalkboard, chairs, and tape. Teacher's table. Okay. That's fine. Get them in. So, objects. Here we go. Objects, objects. Chalkboard. So... You there, you there, and yeah, we might as well keep these rooms the same. Uh, where's the tables now? Tables, tables, come on. Yeah, it only says I need the chair, but... Oh, no, student chair. Yeah, because that comes with a table of its own, doesn't it? That's fine. Right. It's one of these really weird... 
one, so, okay, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, there we go, five times three, that's the 15 students we're going to be getting, so, thank you very much, okay, and a teacher's table there, so, teacher can go and sit in the corner, a minute, a minute, using that in the right spot, yeah, Excuse me, get rid of you. Let's make sure they all line up the same. Thank you. What means you're not in the right spot either. So, let's put you there. Yeah, that's better. Right, um, back to the teacher's thing again. Where's the teacher's table? There. So, ooh. Okay, you can't go there because... Ooh, you might be able to, actually. Yeah, you should be able to. That's fine. Right. So that's all, that's the bare minimum we need in. But let's say we want to put a rubbish bin by the door to keep it nice and tidy. And just in case any of the kids need a drink, you can go to the back of the class. Yeah, I think what I walk that way then they can still learn and listen while they're getting a drink. Okay. Don't need any vending machines. I did see though. Oh, wait a minute, wait. I mean I could put lockers in the room. You know what? Yeah, instead of having them out in the hallway, let's put the lockers in the room. So I think down the side will do. So yeah, seven there, and I'm not going to be able to get them all in. Okay, five. Let's do that, and then I can put five at the back. There we go. Yeah, that's 15, so each kid can have their own locker. Okay, and finally, the floors. Let's say, you know what? Yeah, just nice traditional wooden floors in each of the classrooms. Ah, I don't have enough money. Fine, we'll just have to wait for them to get built. That's fine. We're just going to get everything built and then, yeah, we'll um, be good to go. Oh, it's going to, okay, it's going to take a while because, yeah, they're going to get rid of all this before, yeah, the, um, that building. That's well, fine because as you can see there, money is ticking up with every single bush and tree they get rid of. Oh good, right, okay, um, I've got the money, so yeah, research, work of priorities, so once that comes in, we can tell them to work on, yeah, the stuff we want them to work on, like the classroom, so I can get some money in, but to be honest, by the time that comes in, yeah, these are probably all going to be done. And, yeah, he's already started on it. So, never mind for now, but at least it'll be there when, yeah, um, we need it later on. If we need it later on, but it's okay. What well, actually means as well, because we finished that first one, so, yeah, we've got the cafeteria now, but there we go. Toilet's neutral. That's the ones we want, because I don't care about, you know, splitting it up. I need sinks and cubicles. Fine. Objects. Where are we? Where are we? Don't have enough for them, so we'll just have to wait. I've got three at the minute for 60 kids. That's going to be fun. Two of the three classrooms built. Two more, and then we'll get that money in, what would be very nice. And, no, nope, we've still got quite a bit, actually, still to come in. There's still a few chopping bushes and that down. Please, you know, just... No, stop chopping them down. Come and build these so I can get me money in, please. Okay, it looked like I've run out of money, but thankfully these games, yeah, they give you a one-off. 
So, okay, I've got a bit of money there to finish off with. I kind of went a bit over the top building my school. I think I went a bit too luxurious, so never mind. Let's just get the last few bits in, and then we're good to go. So, yeah, five sinks, and just put another four cubicles in. That's the toilets done. You don't need doors on them. We've got security. The kids can lock themselves in. They've got privacy in there. They don't need to worry about anything else. That way then, no one can play truant. Now, can I just please get these classrooms done? Then I can get the kids in and get going. Actually, I need teach as well, I? That would be helpful. Okay, that's three classrooms done. Just one more to do. And then we're good to hire some staff and get the school open. Because then we can, yeah... Do the building and stuff once the school's open still. That's fine. Actually, I still need the canteen to be done, don't I, before we open. Never mind that. We'll uh, sort that out in a bit. There we go. Right. You done? Right. Hire teachers and all that good stuff. Fine. Right. Use carry on doing that. Let's go and... Yes. Count in. Can't do yet. Wait a minute. Which one? There we go. Snack time place vendors. Got that one. Thank you. Vending machines four. Yeah, got that. Oh, no. I mean, that was the wrong one. Sorry. Hire teachers. Yeah, I'll get that in a minute. Which one is this now? Cafeteria, kitchen, and two cooks. Okay. Fine. So, kitchen first. Let's get you... 88. What do you need? A refrigerator, a stove, and a kitchen sink. Okay. Let's put. Use. There. Sinks. Can go there. That's nice. And. Three. Use can go there. That should be more than enough for you. Right, uh, walls, walls, walls. I want, you know what? Let's have a nice yellow wall, I think, here. I've got a nice, and doors. I want one there, one there. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll hire someone in the kitchen in a minute, but before we do, I need you. Okay. Cafeteria table, food counter, plate count. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Um, objects, where are, you? where are you? Thankfully. Yeah, they're all here. What I need. So, food counter. Let's put you. TVs up there. Plates either side. Vending machine, you can have two in that place. And oh, you know what? Right, let's have a look. Oh, how am I gonna get you? Could do that, but then I'm gonna have space. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough space for all this. That's eight. I'm gonna get eight kids per do you no i'm not even gonna be able to do it like that so okay wait a minute wait a minute put you there now the question is is that gonna block them or not i don't know so i mean it's saying I can put it in. So let's just go. Using there. It says you'll need the two benches, so technically I'm done. But. Can I do that and will it will it block them? That's the question. You know what? I don't care. The rain. Let's see if it works. 
Right, that is you and you done. Now, hire two cooks. That is all I need to do. Okay, fine. Staff. Cook. One. Two. Thank you. That's um, you's done. You'll start doing all that. Good. Now, teachers. Right, I need to hire some teachers. So, yeah, I'm going to need a fair few teachers. Language, maths, science, art, history, and people. I've only got four classes. So technically, yeah. Okay, Mark Ross. That's got to be history. Okay, I thought that one would have been art, to be honest. Fine. Brandon Perry, your maths. Okay, and... Mark Brooks is art. Fine. Okay, um... Right, so... You can have that one. You can do history. And... History. Strict, but you know what? You tell me a maths teacher wasn't strict. I've never known a maths teacher be nice and kind. They've always been strict. So, okay. Science. I don't have the money. Great. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can get some money. I can get some money. There's some nice cheap stuff. Hiring teacher, that's 15. Drinking water. I've already got that one. So I'll take you. Schedule planning, schedule recess to 3 p.m. Okay, that's an easy, easy one to do. So, schedule, there we go. Why would I want, yeah, but it didn't say for who. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can, I can sort this out, it's fine. So, yeah, they're all at the same time. Do not want that happening. So, okay, the youngsters can go first and they can have lunch at 12. Along with, yeah, the, the sophomore. Use can have yours. Wait a minute. Let me just get yours there and there. That is a weird one to have, but okay. Um, no, I won't use it at one o'clock. Go night. So there we go. Oh, that's. No, you know what? Let's just move you up to an hour before. That's better. Three, three, and then dismissal. What? I'm not having that. No, 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 no. Two o'clock. No, it's gone through. It's fine. But that's okay. Yes, I'll get you a teacher's. Don't worry. Just give me a minute. Right, what else have we got? Accounting. Research money manager. Build an office for an accountant and hire one. Or hire teachers. Let's hire some teachers first. Right. Who do I need? I need science. I thought you had maths. But okay. Did I not get a maths teacher? I thought we did. Never mind. What have we got there? Maths? Yeah, we've got a maths teacher. So why are you saying I don't? Okay. Apparently we've got three language teachers, but no... I've just realised what I'm doing. It's because I'm selecting there, isn't it? I'm putting them all in that group. Right, never mind. Um, How do I... Get yous out now. Um... Remove yours, that's it, right. Because I don't actually have a language teacher, do I? Um, anyone good at language? No, okay, your art. So, assign you as the art teacher. Assign you as the history teacher. There we go. Make sure I'm assigned to the right department. Maths. There we go. And science. There we go. So we need PE and language. That's it. Fine. Okay. You're not really the best, but... <coughs> yeah, you're the best out of a bad bunch. So 45, that will do for... Yeah, make sure I put you into PE. 
finally, someone who's good at language. Oh, well, there we go. Perfect. You're kidding me. I'm just short. Fine. There you go. There's the teachers coming in. And I've got no more bushes to sell. Oh, that's annoying. I've just got one more teacher to do. Can't do any of that because it won't let me at the minute. Right. Um, okay, you know what? Fine. Just have to get somebody else for now. Who is the second best then? 61. That's annoying. 27. Okay, 28's the best. I guess you'll have to do. Right, there we go. I've got that. And now I've got enough money to, yeah, hire you now. So, screw it. We'll have two language teachers. There we go. Right, that's the teachers done. What's next? We've got counting. No man is an island. Research social skills, build a common area. Okay, cleanliness is next to godliness. Hire a janitor. Research school cleaning. Fine. Okay, you know what? I think it's time for the kids to start coming in. We've got the basics in. We can feed them. We can learn them. We can water them. Leak them. Ref whatever them. We've got all the basics in. I know there's a lot still to do, but you know what? I think it's time. It's we're on day four. We've gone bankrupt twice, and we're in seven grand in the red. So you know what? Let's do it. So after all that building, all that good stuff, a minute, okay, uh, apparently some teachers aren't going to the classrooms, fine, we'll sort that out later in a minute, but any moment now, any moment now, there's my teachers all coming in, apparently you're just going to rest are you? fine. I did. Yeah, I've got 60 kids who are meant to be turning up. So, okay. And class one and three don't have a teacher. Okay. Oh, that's because you haven't done the schedule properly, isn't it? Right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not letting me change. Yeah. Oh, science, no teacher. Why? I don't know. You should have. Apparently in classroom two. Yeah. Um, okay, in that case, if I do that, wait a minute, I might have to just change a few bits around here. Let's see if that now helps out with them. I'd like to know where the kids actually are, to be honest, but wait, where are they? Okay, show them that they're here, or they should be anyway. There they are, now they've turned up. Oh, it's seven o'clock, that's why I was here a bit early. Never mind. Okay, I'll let them off. That's it, hurry up. Get these built for them, just as they're getting in. Imagine that, turn up on your first day at school to find out the building isn't even ready. Oh, well, never mind. That's it, we're gonna get it all nice for you. Don't worry, by the time the year ones make it through to year four, we should be good. Poor year twos don't even have a floor yet, but you know what? Let's give them a floor. Oh, lovely. They are now making a mess of it because there's no flipping teachers. Where are my teachers and why aren't they here? Or is it 8 o'clock? Is that when they start? Wait a minute. Schedule. Yeah, 8 o'clock. I thought it was. Okay, so for the first hour, I haven't given them anything to do. You're looking pretty angry. What is up with you? No discipline. Fine. Sort that out later on. And of course, all the teachers are sitting around doing nothing. And school cleaning. We are nearly done up. So we can start cleaning up. There we go. There's the bell. Everyone goes to the class. And I love the fact that the kids run to the class and the teacher's like, eh, I'll get there when I, can, when I feel like it. There we go. Right. Start teaching you ungrateful kids. Apparently they're doing PE in the classroom. Fine, but 
Never mind. We'll, um, we'll get you an outside track at some point in the future. Okay, so there's class one done. Teachers change over, kids stay in. What? I don't ever remember school being like that. I always remember it was the kids who used to change classrooms, but you know what? Good for them. Kids get to sit down and do nothing. Right. Yep. Yeah. Years three and four get to, yeah, do. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Sorry. I've now got janitors. Good. Let's get a couple of janitors in. Sorry. You're going to. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, only two of you. There you go. Two of you to clean the school up. Get going. Where are you? So you go to the toilets first. Bye. Come on. Get cleaning. Right, I've got 450 coming in at the minute. That's not bad, actually. But he's waiting on delivery. And you know what? That should... I need three janitors, okay. Uh, hurry up and give me the money. Get me up to um, 100 to 1800, and I'll be f I can put it in and get some f get five grand, please. Please hurry up. Somebody give me some money, please. Okay, apparently my daily spending is minus four thousand. Okay. What if that's just today's? I don't know. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like they're doing well in the canteen for now. We've got enough space. We've got enough things. Okay, you're just walking right across the table? Well, I didn't need to worry about that then, did I? Fine, that's it. You just get in there, wash up, do the dishes, do what needs to be done, please. And now you're all going home. Fine. Please tell me I'll have money tomorrow then to hire this other cleaner. And they're not doing a good job, the two of them. Okay, there we go. I've got some money there. Sit now. Thank you. Toilet training. No, I don't want to build in... Oh, go away. Detention rooms. Okay, accounting. Let's do that one. That's pretty easy. So, office assigned to an accountant. Hire an accountant. Research money manager. Fine. So, we'll get the research coming in first. Money manager, where are you? There. Thank you. And you can go here, I think. Right, office, 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 offices. Admin, there we go. So again, just set it up the exact same way we did the other one. But you know what? You can have three filing cabinets because you are, yeah, there we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop a minute, stop a minute. Door. Right, that's shoes in there, fine. Now, staff, accountant, in. Good. Right, project management granted, unlocked, lowering grant, thank you. And I can now get a loan, should I wish. Research power tools, you know what? That's fine. Let's do that one. That's quick and easy. That's six grand. Nice and easy. So, power tools into research. It's four grand. Come on. I mean, okay, I'm going to get six grand out. I'm going to get two grand for doing that. Never mind. I guess it's two grand more than we had. But, you know what? With that two grand, floors, where is the marble floor in? There we go. 600 quid, it will do. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you understand this game. That is Academia School Simulator. It's just a little teaser of the game. I mean, this game is so in-depth, I could be here for another 20 hours and still not show you everything that this game has to offer and can throw at you. That was just basically getting a basic school set up and that has taken me a good three or four hours to get done just for this short clip of the game so yeah link in the description as always if you're interested i'm pretty sure most of you who are going to get this game have already got it but yeah i can see me springing this back again at some point for either a mini series a possible live stream if i do live streams in the future i hope i will one day um or, who knows, I might even just bring it back for a one-off 
again just to show a bit more of the game off. I don't know. I'll see how things go and what yous like. And of course, let me know down in the description below if you want to see more games like this or if you want to see this come back and in what fashion you would like to see it. But in the meantime, I've been Stan 84 This has been Academia School Simulator. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time, goodbye.